guys want to talk about some EDC today? Let's talk about EDC today. A little bit of Volcom, some R2D2. So what is EDC? EDC is everyday carry. How does that apply to an outdoor channel? Well, with my handicap and my disability, there's a bag that I never leave the house without. And it changes seasonally, but for now it's this bag. It's my Red Rock Rover Sling Pack. Um, I'll link it in the description so you guys can go check out the stats. For the most part, from spring to the beginning of spring to about the middle of fall, this is what my EDC is or fits into. So, how can we call it a gear dump if we don't dump all the things? We're in there. Come on out. All the things. Let's do the classic bird's eye all inclusive view. Let me apologize in advance if you guys can hear a loud four-year-old playing in the next room over, but when he's in his room, we let him do his thing because that's his space. And this is my space. It's mommy's birthday and she's taking a nap downstairs. So, happy birthday, babe. We love you. There are hundreds and thousands of variations of everybody's everyday carry kits their EDC kits this is just mine and my perspective on my EDC is somebody who deals with a handicap and disability the main purpose of my EDC is to get me home or to help within a 24 hour period so my main focus directly relates to travel water acquisition fire and first aid it kind of breaks the rules of the way most everybody else does it but this is the system that works for me and that I've been using for five years now here's my EDC kit and how it relates to my situation is this guy really gonna talk about his boots in an EDC video absolutely it's part of what I leave every day with these are my Danner Skyridge wools very very super super lightweight boot extra wide sole on them they're wool so they breathe they don't get too hot i'll link them in the description i'm not going to get into my boots that in that much detail okay as i said the first focus of my edc is travel i need to stay moving the reason for that is because i have to carry a medical supply that medical supply I only carry a 36 hour supply in my everyday carry kit. So with that being said, got to have a compass. I like giving them a little bit of a lanyard so you've got an emergency rope. Let's talk about water acquisition. That's one reason for a bandana. I can filter heavy sedimented water I keep my clean canteen I keep a 26 ounce 
and I also carry some type of straw style water filter whether it's one like this or the Sawyer squeeze some type of water filter like that I don't carry my pump style water filter in my EDC kit we will talk about first aid that did not fall out of my pack along with the emergency blanket or the trash bag talk about a fail the area let me talk about the area I live in too it's my home is six miles away from a major city this way three to four miles maybe five to my I've got a major city six miles west I've got a major city four miles east so it's only gonna take me a day of travel to get back home first aid I do carry my smaller first aid kit in my EDC and it's a little waterproof locking kit it was a UST first aid kit I bought from Walmart and then I end up I buy these things pretty much for the containers take them home and customize them myself this is my medical kit this is my medical supply for 36 hours so we'll talk about that here in a minute I'll leave that for the end for the people that the medical kit doesn't apply to for fire I've got a little bit of a fire kit and a plastic bag just a cheap lighter I keep some kind of ferro rod but this is one that I got in a trade you guys will see this in the giveaway video I'll link it in the description that we got going on this is not part of the giveaway but I just showed this off in it so it's a little fire steel it's got a compass and it's got a whistle the whistle my kits designed to get help so sometimes you gotta be loud and I don't care how loud my wife tells me I am sometimes I gotta be louder um waxed twine my chubby twine we'll have these up for sale I call them chubby blocks it's a special formulated wax impregnated into softwood blocks these are also in the giveaway so like I said I'll link that down below in the description you guys can go check that out get involved we have travel water acquisition fire and first aid covered and I probably got those in the wrong order that's just how I thought and wrote them down I've got my own process we've all got our own processes so the stuff that is a little bit I don't know survival kit ish I said I carry some kind of face mask usually a brighter colored one and there's an SPF rating to them too so it helps with sun protection Dana I mean tourniquet first aid filter like air filter mouth filter there's hundreds of uses of bandanas I carry a solar charger a the black trash bag I mean an extra poncho uh, can help with shelter can help with more water acquisition like I said hundreds of uses for a trash bag I carry a disposable hooded poncho I do keep an emergency blanket just in case you have to hunker down for the night I keep about 25 to 50 foot of paracord I always keep a sharpie or well this one's a Milwaukee ink saw but this thing will write in grease it's awesome my Gerber suspension multi tool I like this one over most other ones because of the spring action I just like my lime green stuff 
little flashlight that runs on an extra set of AAA batteries that I accompany with my Petzl headlamp that runs on AAA batteries so that way I only really carry one extra set of batteries. More Kenef Companion has just been floating between every pack and if it's not in my pack it's been on my waist. This has just been an awesome freaking knife guys. For 15 bucks you can't beat these. And Trayvax Wallet made in the USA now this is you know let's say the absolute worst happens and I've got to continue on from where I'm at instead of trying to get back home or trying to get to help well you're gonna want some kind of way to acquire food so I put them in old prescription bottles that I've peeled the labels off and this one is a fishing, sewing, and snaring kit all in one. And I've got a bunch of these. Um, I've literally made one of these for every pack that I carry and they just stay in there. It's the one thing I don't take out of any of my packs. So, yeah, let's open this up and check it out. Can I help you, sir? Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Hi, guys. You got to get in the camera. <laughs> you can't see. Okay. Now I can see you there. All right, so let's take a look at my fishing, sewing, and snaring kit. And I'm do I'm holding this upside down, so if everything looks a little weird, it feels a little weird. So we have a couple little needles that I've got taped together. Here's some really heavy-duty black thread. This is a couple little hooks with pre-attached leaders. I keep four little split shot sinkers. And this is about 50 feet of fishing line. I believe 10 pound test. Rubber bands are just an invaluable thing to have. I mean, if you made a cane pool, then you know, you're getting short on fishing line. It gives you a little bit of a shock tippet between the pole and your line. Or, uh, you know, even when you make your pole, instead of attaching your line to the pole where it's going to be abrasive, just attach these to the pole and then run your fishing line through that. Oh, there's another video idea. Yeah subscribe and we'll do that one too and then go get in on the giveaway guys I don't necessarily think this was meant to be snare wire um, this came out of an old military pack that I got somewhere and to be honest I think it was some type of trip wire it's got two nails it's really thin gauge stuff but in a survival situation there's enough here you could maybe this part's not for the faint of heart so if you don't want to know what's in the med kit I'll give you about five seconds to take off from here so don't forget to give me a like hit the subscribe button I'll link the giveaway video in the description and you can go check that out and get involved Thanks for coming along. All right, so if you've stuck in this long, you want to know what's in my med kit. In my med kit, I carry my catheters. And then for each catheter, now I keep a 36 hour supply. So for me, that is six catheters, 
because it's a day and a half. I use four a day. Six lubricant packs. Six white packs. And I mean individual, not... I carry six of one of these. Actually, I take that back. I do carry six doubles because I use one to clean and one for my hands. Carry 12. These I do double up on. 12 alcohol prep packs. Pair of the blue nitrile gloves for each catheter. So that's 12 pair or 12 individual gloves. And I keep my med kit in a outdoor products little they're not a dry bag they're water resistant but you can't submerse these things so what a roll top that we'll call them so that's my EDC what's your EDC let me know in the comments um, let me know what you think I could do different or if you've got other gear suggestions leave those in the comments I want to get you guys involved in this it's not all about me it's about you too so yeah, thanks for coming along, and see you guys on the next adventure.